is up you guys it's double e baby back with another final cut pro tutorial i hope you guys are really liking these videos if you are please leave a like below today i'm going to be showing you guys a cool dope glow animation effect you don't need any plugins for it the first thing we're going to want to do is bring down our green screen animation and lay it on top of our clip and then we can go ahead into the effects panel and then we can type in the cure in the search bar and then we could drag that over and lay it right on top of our green screen animation after that we're going to want to head back over there and we're going to type in shape mask and you could drag the shape mask right onto your main clip and if you notice you can see the shape mask is now right on top of our subject instead of on the outside how we want it and how we can get rid of that is just by simply going over and clicking invert mask and then now you can see it's outside of our subject instead of right on top of him and you guys can play with the radius the feather and the fall off to get it exactly how you guys want it once you find it how exactly you want it the next thing we're going to want to do is go back to our effects panel and type in glow and you could drag the glow right on top of our video clip and then if we look at our playback it should look a little something like this and to really excel the glow effect which most people don't think about using which i feel like this is effect is really forgotten about or slept on is shrieks so we can type in shrieks inside of our effects panel and then we can lay it on top of our clip and if you see it's kind of overdoing it when you first drop it on but you could kind of just play with it with the amount, the thickness and threshold and even the variance and the glow or you could change it any color you actually want. It's all up to you guys or whatever video you guys are working on. And after we're done, it should look something like this. I'll suggest you guys take your time on it just for the sake of the video. I kind of just moved around the sliders just to see what I can get. But the more you play with it and do it, the better it'll come out. And that's the effect it's as simple as that thank you guys for watching this video if you're a new watcher please hit that subscribe button stay tuned for more final cut pro tutorials coming to you guys every week